Hello everybody, welcome to Classic Education YouTube channel. My name is Mahesh Pundibich. I am a faculty member at Classic IISK Study Circle, Darwad. Good evening friends. Uh, my name is Navin Kumar. I am a faculty of Classic KSA Study Circle, Darwad. Today we are going to discuss uh, CSAT 2021, right, which held on 10th October. Friends, we are going to solve and using explanation of the CSAT paper, mathematics and the reasoning part. I am handling the reasoning part and the Mahesh sir is handling the maths part. Right friends, let me move for the <coughs> first question friends here. Okay friends, uh, see the first question here. In a group of 120 persons, 80 are Indians and the rest are foreigners. Further, 70 persons in the group can speak English. The number of Indians who can speak English. So this is a question friends, right friends. So let me see here. The first total number of candidates here it is 120. Right? In that 120, Indians are 80, then foreigners are, rest means that is a 40 here. Right? So 70 persons in the group can speak English, the, the number of Indians who can speak English means out of 40, then every person is going to speak English means uh, in the 70 we removed 40 means the remaining is a 30. But we don't know exactly in this 40, the out of 40, out of 40 the people are speaking English, the foreigners or else 30 members can speak English, 35 members or 39 members else, whatever it may be. Here it is uh, not uh, less than 30, 30 members minimum and more than 30 it should be. Right friends, we don't know the exact value. So it is the answer is option number D that is uh, 30 and more. Right friends, so option number D is the right answer. Yes friends, we will move for the next question now. Yes, dear students, here we have a maths question and those who all have seen my previous videos, they could have got some idea. Now see, a question asked is the number, this is a number which is given to me and he has told me that it is divisible by 7. So when it is divisible by 7, then what maximum of the students have done is, they have substituted each value of options each value they have substituted it in p and they have divided it and checked it okay because he has told me to uh, find what is the value of that p but dear students you can solve this question within 30 seconds also yes how by finding the digit sum of it when he has told me in the question that it is completely divisible by 7 that means whatever its digit sum will be that will be completely divisible by 7. So how to find the digit sum I have already explained you in the previous video okay. So directly I will solve the question whenever there is 9 you have to neglect it so 8, 9, 9, 7, 2 is 9 now what is left 3, 5 and p. So 3, 5 and p that means it is nothing but 8 plus p, 8 plus p. What is this 8 plus p? It is the digit sum. Now he has told me that it is completely divisible by 7. That means whatever value I am going to substitute here that should be completely divisible after summing this, it should be completely divisible by 7. So now put 1 by 1 value. So if you put 1, how much it will become? So if it will become 9 by 7, so which is not divisible by 7. This value is not divisible by 7. Now we will check for 6. So when you substitute 6 here, it will become 14. So 14 by 7, it is completely divisible. That means this can be my answer. Let us check two more options. 7, when you substitute 7 here, it will become 15, which is not possible. Okay, when you substitute 9 here, how much it will become? It will become 17. 17 is not completely divisible by 7. So this is the answer that is 6. Because when you substitute P, 6 here, you are going to get 14. 14 is completely divisible by 7. So that is the answer. So instead of doing it by lengthy method, if you follow the digit sum, then you can solve this question within 30 seconds. Right, friends. Okay. <coughs> okay, see here. Next question, again we have on uh, mathematics. Okay, there are two class, A and B, having 25 and 30 students respectively. So there are two class. And when I was solving the previous year question paper, that is 2020 question paper, there I had discussed a particular point. Okay, and based on that point also, we can conclude this problem also. Now see, now what he has told me that in class A, there are 25 students and in class B, there are 30 students. Okay, and what he has told me in a class, 
okay that is class a the highest score is 21 so the highest score here is 21 and the lowest score is 17 so the lowest score is 17 okay now in the class b the highest score is 30 so the highest score is 30 and the lowest score is 22 so the lowest score is 22 okay and what he has told me four students are shifted from class a to class b that means four students from here they have shifted to this class now what question he has told me consider the following statement and what he has told me the average score of the class b will definitely decrease now see here dear students now before answering this question we have to understand one point if suppose this is the these are two classes okay or this is only one class and the average of this class is 20 okay average of this class is 20 now if any person okay if the number here which enters in that group is less than the average if it is less than the average then the average of this class will decrease that means the lesser value when it enters into the group it will decrease now same thing is happening here you see if i consider all the four students that are entering into this class are of highest marks that is all these four students have scored 21 marks but you see one thing the lowest score of the class is 22 marks okay which is the highest score here that means when this value is entering into this group what is happening it value is less here that means the group value the average value of this group will get decrease or this class will get decrease so the average score of the class b will definitely decrease yes it will definitely decrease okay what is the second statement the average score of the class a will definitely increase so it will not going to increase so only one the first statement and here you see only one right. option okay. number one is a right, right answer. answer for this question okay let us move to the next question dear students here it is friends so they give the statement question here it's a <coughs> reasoning part here consider the two statements and the questions so statement one in the statement one they have given priya is fourth ranks below Sima and he's 31st from the bottom for example friends if i draw a chart here total number of students there are here they have given 40 students right friends see in the second statement anna is second ranks above Sima and is a 37th from the bottom what is Sima's rank from the top in the class of 40 students right friends so in the class of 40 students we'll take in the first statement priya is four ranks below Sima and is 31st from the bottom priya for example here we'll take a Sima one two three and here comes a priya right so rank is a priya's rank is 31st right friends then in the statement number two anna is second ranks above Sima, and is 37th from the bottom he's already Sima is here so priya is 31 means uh, then two three four five that Sima is a uh, 35th rank okay two people means uh, one and two here it is a uh, anna that is 37th rank right out of 40 students the question is what is Sima's rank from the top in the class of 40 students means when we call see top and the bottom now we are counting in the bottom when we come from the counting from the top that is a rank of Sima is a sixth place right friends so let me see the options here which one of the following is correct in the respect of the statement and the question for example here the statement one right here it is one alone is not sufficient to answer the question right that is option a here it is then option number two statement two right friends statement one is not sufficient to answer the question so this one is not follows right friends only one statement we can't judge what is the position of Sima and as well as uh, Priya and Anna we can't judge the proper answer here in the statement number two two alone is not sufficient to answer the question right so this is also will not follow only two is not will be sufficient either statement one alone or statement two alone is sufficient to answer the question right i think sir option number three is the right answer okay sir, sir why because uh, statement one and statement two yes, both sir. are needed to answer this question yes sir, sir yes so sir. option number three is a right, right option answer. my dear okay. friends yes. okay yes friends yes. so next we'll move for the next question now <coughs> okay again we got one more question here considering the statements sorry two statements and a question okay statement one and statement two here each 
of A and D is heavier than each of B, E, F. They are telling here, I will repeat the question, each of A and D is heavier than B, E, F. For example here, A is heavier than B, E, F, then D is heavier than B, E, F. In the first statement. Second okay. statement, A is heavier than D. We don't know friends, A is heavier than D. Why? Because we don't know the exact value of A and D. Okay. They didn't mention here, but E is a lighter than C. Okay. We can't send, but in the question, who is the heaviest among A, B, C, D and E? Okay. Let me see the options here friends. Which one of the following is correct in the respect of this statement and the questions? Okay. Already I draw the chart here. So here it is, A is greater than B, greater than E as well as greater than F. But we don't know the value of C here. C might be greater than C, right? Or we don't know exactly. Same as it is, we come to D. D is greater than B as well as E, then as well as F. And also, C is also greater than D. We can't say, maybe or may not be. Okay, friends, let me see the option here. Statement 1 is sufficient to answer the, statement alone is 1 is sufficient to answer the question. Yes, friends, statement 1 is alone is sufficient to answer the question that is the right one which we uh, previous we saw in the C here. Each of A and D is heavier than the each of B, E, F. Yes, A and D heavier than E, sorry, B, E, F. But none of them is the heaviest. None of them is the heaviest means that they will take the C value. But here they are telling A is heavier than D but is lighter than C but we can't sell. So the answer is Statement 1 alone is sufficient to answer the question. So option number A is a right answer, friends. Okay. Yes. So we'll move for the next question now. <coughs> yes. Again, we got one more question here. Sixth uh, relating to the reasoning. In the English alphabet, the, the first four letters are written in the opposite order. And then the next four letters are written in the opposite order. And so on. And at the end, Y and Z are interchange, which will be the fourth letter to the right of 13th letter. Okay, friends. See, for example, here, I write down the alphabets here. See here. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. I have written serial order. But the question is telling, written in the opposite order, first four letters. Means every fourth letter, we are writing as a opposite. Okay, friends. Here it is. And the last X and Y and Z are interchange. Means Z, Y. Okay, friends. So here it is. When we write opposite here, same as it is here. D, C, B, A, H, G, F, E. Then here it is. L, K, J, I. Here it is. P, O, N, M. Then it is T S R Q. Then X W V U interchange. Last Y and Z are interchange. Now let me check the question here. Which will be the fourth letter to the right of 13th? Okay. Fourth letter of right of 13th person means 13 here from we are counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13th person is a P. Right? 13th person's right side, 4th person, that is 1, 2, 3, 4. That is 4th person is a T. Option number B is a right answer, friends. So, here it is directly, if I write opposite letters, you will get confused how they are written. For, for understanding, I have written the serial order, then I have changed in the 4-4 change the four, four alphabets, right, friends? So, option number B is a right answer, that is a T here. Okay, we will move for the next question now. Okay, again, we are getting one more question that is uh, seven books P, Q, R, S, T, U and V are placed side by side. Okay. R, Q and T have a blue covers and other books have red colors. Right. Only S and U are new books and the rest are old. Full stop. P, R, S are the law reporters. The rest are gadgeters, books of the old gadgeters with blue covers are. Okay. Let me see here friends. I will solve it here. Okay, how to solve this type of problems? Here it is P, Q, R, S, T, 
U V. Okay, friends. Sir, will you please read me the question? Yes, sir. Then I'll go seven, through the solution here. Yes. Seven books P, Q, R, S, T, U, and V are placed side by side. Side by side. Okay. So R, Q, and T. So they okay. said side by side, friends. Okay. Okay. Side by side. Okay. But I have taken in the right serial order. Okay. From a top to bottom. Okay. okay. Yes. R, Q, and T have blue covers. See here. Okay. R. Yes. Q R and T. T. Has okay. Okay. Blue covers. Yes. See here. Okay. It is a blue, blue color. Yes. Blue. Blue. Yes. And others books have red covers. Red covers. Okay. okay. P is a red. Then uh, yes is a red. 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 Yes. Okay. So only S and U are new books. Yes and U are, are new, books. new books. Yes. Yes, and new. You are new books, and the rest are old. The rest are old means V is old here, right, oh. friends? Then T is old here, R old, Q old here. Then P is old here. Yes, P R and S are law reporters. P and S. Yes, P R S. P R S okay. are law reporters. P, not R. sir, not P sir. Here they are giving uh, a P is okay. P R and S are law, law reporters. reporters, right, okay. sir? Okay, law, law, yes one. Okay. Okay. Yes. That is a yes, sir. It's a new book, no, sir? Yes, sir. Okay, law. Okay. Right, sir. Yes, and the rest are gadgeters. The le, uh, the rest are gadgeters. Okay. okay. So books of, of old gadgeters with blue color are yes sir. yes the rest of old gadgeters okay with blue color blue colors okay. so old gadgeters uh, I already marked here yes and you are the new right friends here it is old means uh, Q blue color cover that is a uh, old then here comes one more that is a uh, T that is blue that is old right friends apart from this uh, one more blue is there right that is R blue old but is there is a law reporter only they asked the gadgeters remaining okay. are the gadgeters they said uh, law report reporters apart from the law reporters remaining are the gadgeters so answer is a uh, from uh, this option we are getting your answer q and uh, t yes. here it is option number c is a uh, right answer friends okay. okay we'll move for the next question now okay friends yes uh, yes sir you please carry on sir yes Replace the incorrect term by the correct term in the given sequence. Okay, sir. Yes. So here there is one sequence given, sir. Okay, where odd terms and even terms follow the same pattern he has told. Same pattern. Sir. Yes. You have to tell me what will be the answer, sir, for this. What will be the answer, answer. for? My dear friends, here they given one the numbers arrangement, right? In this number arrangement, they are given uh, all the serial orders, but not as a systematic order. Okay. They are given the mixed one here. The mixed one means we have to shuffling in the two parts here. First, we will take the odd ones here. 3, 7, here it is 13, 21, then as well as a 31. 31. Yes, 43. 43. Yes. Right, friends? So when we see the difference of these people, right, friends? See here, 43 minus 31, that is a 12. Then comes 10. Here comes 8. Then here comes 6. Then right friends see the first word okay highlight this one replace, replace the incorrect term in this arrangement one term is a wrong term we have to replace and we have to make it as a correct term yes okay so on the we are taken one part here then even part we have to take here that is two, two four four ten ten eighteen eighteen twenty eight twenty eight and forty and forty yes sir again we'll check the difference of these numbers friends here it is twelve again 10 and it should be 8 next uh, 6 and next should be it should be a 4 but the difference is here 2 yes right so we have to replace the 2 here means that will be become as a 0 when it will become 0 the difference of 0 to 4 is a that is 4 same as it is 4 6 8 10 12 here comes also 4 6 8 10 12 but here coming the difference is 2 so we are replacing the 2 as 0 the option is 1 a is a right answer yes. right okay Yes, friends, we'll move for the next question now. Okay. Sir, please carry on. Yes. Following is a matrix of certain entries. Okay. The entries follow a certain trend row wise. Okay. Choose the missing entry accordingly. So, we have to find the value of that question mark. That is what yes, is friends, asked in the question. Yes, already we discussed this type of questions in the class as well as uh, we discussed 19 and 20 paper. What we discussed, uh, right? 
so before the examination of 10th October, right, that question, same pattern, not same data, same related type of questions are repeated, sir, here. Yes, sir. Okay. So this is a find the missing character topic, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, already we discussed same uh, topic, means the same, uh, this uh, diagram of uh, okay, chart sir. in the classes. Okay, sir. Here it is, sir, they have given the number as well as alphabet. Okay. We have to find out, uh, uh, means uh, vertical or horizontal. Okay. For example, here, 7B, 3C, that is a 10A. Okay. In the serial order A, B, C, when the students are doing uh, in the examination, they will think like this. Okay. If we are going uh, one by one, if it is not matching, means uh, we are checking the other method also. Right, friends? So, A, B, C, here it is A, B, C, here is A is there, C is there. Okay. The missing term is B. Okay. Same we check is B, here is here, A, C. Again, A, B, C. A is there, C is there. So, remaining part is B. When we check both the sides, horizontal and vertical, okay. So, B. What is the number here, okay. 10, 9, means 10 plus 9, 19, they are given uh, 13 here. It will not match, okay. Then, this order is wrong. When we will check in the, this order, 7B, right, then 10A. 10 minus 7, that is 3. So, alphabet is C is there. 9 minus 3, that is 6. Same, 13 minus 10, answer is Yes. Right, friends. So, 3B is the right answer. We will check in the options. 3B, that is option number C. Yes. Okay. Yes. There is an easy one, friends. Okay. Sir, when we got B, we can eliminate these two options from there also. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, obviously, sir. Definitely. Okay. And only two options will be left with Two us. options are remaining, yes. but we have to concentrate, Find, sir. Yes, we have to. What the students are doing, sir, we only see the numbers. Yes, sir. They also have to focus on, on alphabet, alphabet sir. Also, yes, sir. Right. that is also Why true, I told them first only, a is there, B is there, and C is also is yes, there. Sir, yes, Same sir. Same is A, B, C. Yes. Here A given and the C given. Yes. The remaining part is B. Yes. When we got this B, means we have to think that this, this answer will two, not come. This, yes. It might be this answer. Yes, maybe. sir. But exact answer is option number C. C. Right? Yes. 3B. Yes. Okay, sir. We'll move for the next one. Next question, sir. Okay. So, you are given, okay. So, you are given uh, two, okay. It is two here, okay. Two identical sequence in the two rows. Okay, and uh, here there is one sequence, and here there is another sequence. Okay, and now what he is telling me that what is the entry in the place of C? You have to find the value of this C. Okay, for the sequence two. So from this sequence two, you have to find the value of this C. Now you just see now what pattern it is following. Okay, so if you just see this, it is one by two of this. Okay, so you see 8 into 1 by 2, it is nothing but 4, you are getting this value. Now from 4 to 6, what it is doing, you just observe it properly, see 1 by 2, okay, you add this, 2 plus 1 is 3, so into 3 by 2, okay, into 3 by 2. So 2 1s are, 2 twos are, so 3 twos are is 6, so here I am having 6, okay. So now how you are going to get 15, so what you do, you add this numerator and denominator okay so it will become 5 5 by 2 you keep the denominator same so how much it will become 2 into 3 so 5 3 is a 15 so it is following this pattern okay so you can check it for this also and this also so it is following this pattern so in the same way the second sequence will also follow the same pattern so now how to solve this question you see now finding the values of C, what you do, you directly multiply it, okay. So 5 into 1 by 2 into 3 by 2 into 5 by 2, yes. So okay, so here it is 5 by 2, so 5 by 10, 5 by 2. Now if you just multiply this, okay, if you just multiply this, then you are going to get the answer as 9.375. Right, okay? option number C is, C right, is answer. the right answer. Okay? okay, so see here, dear students, now do not do like this, that 5 into, okay, 1 by 2, you will get a result, then into 3 by 2, then you will get one result, then into, okay, 5 by 2, okay, do not do like that. Okay, so it is a sequence, it is following a sequence that means 5 into this multiplication will directly give you the result. So instead of doing that, we can save time here. Sir. Yes, sir, sir yes. definitely. Okay, so we will move to the next question. Sir, wonderful explanation. Thank you, sir. Yes, so yes. we will move for the next question now, friends. Okay. Right, sir, I will uh, read the question here. Yes, sir, sure. So the question number 12, a students appeared in uh, six papers, the maximum marks are the same for each paper. 
his marks in the these papers are in the proportion of 5 is to 6, 6 is to 7, 7 is to 8, then 8 is to 9, 9 is to 10. Overall, he scored 60 percent full stop in how many number of papers he did score less than 60 percent of the maximum marks. Yes. Right so, this is a question here. Yes. Dear students, sir, I just want to tell you also, yes. if my student, okay, if he had, if he had written this exam, okay, definitely without any observation, further observation, Fine, sir. by looking at the ratio itself, he would have told the answer. Okay, because in the regular class, I had discussed this question. This similar, not the same question, but similar question. Hello sir, questions. yes. So, here there are six values, sir. Yes. Sir. Okay, so if I just take the midway of it, okay, this value will be less than 60 percent and this value will be more than 60 percent. Okay, and what he has told me that uh, how many number of papers did he score less than 60? So, less than 60 are these three numbers, sir. Yes. So, three is the direct answer. Now, suppose if you are not my student, no problem. Okay. So, if you are not my student, what we will do, there are six papers here. Okay. So, there are six papers and each paper he should get 60 percent of marks. Let us assume that he has to take 60 marks only. Okay. So, 6 into 60 is nothing but 360. Okay. It is 360. So, 360. Now, what you do, you add all these values, okay? That is 10 plus 9 plus 8 plus 7 plus 6 plus 5, okay? When you add it, you are going to get 45 units, okay? And you can say that this 45 units is equals to 360, okay? And one unit value, so one unit value will comes out to be 8. Now, what you do, you multiply this 8 to all these ratio values, okay? All these values and you see all the values which are more than 60 and less than 60 you calculate them so how many number of uh, uh, how many number of papers will be less than 60 that will be your answer and i will i am telling you that these three values will be only less than 60 you can check it fine this is the solution sir yeah option number b is the yes, right answer yes b is the right answer okay sir. friends okay without matlab without any explanation yes, directly sir, yes. from the ratio we can get the fine, answer fine sir. sir so that is a shortcut method we are we discussed yes it here. is a concept level sir yes, okay yes fine sir yes so move for the next question friends now okay yes sir so friends uh, this question is related to the silox means the silolisms in the last class means uh, the previous the 2019 and 20 which we discussed today in the before examination okay these are questions we already solved sir yes sir again the three questions are uh, repeated in this examination sir. okay sir so this topic is very important friends so let me see the question sir here yes sir, sir. sir will you please read the question yes here? sure sir a statement followed by conclusion one and conclusion two is given below you have to take the statement to be true event if it seems to be yes it is seems to be Yes, variance, variance from, from the, the commonly, commonly known facts. Yes. That means, even if it is not true, we have to assume it true. That yes. is what he means to yes, say. Sir, yes, yes. Sir. Okay. So, read all the conclusions and then decide which of the following given conclusions logically follows or follow from the statement. Okay. Disregarding the commonly known facts. Commonly facts. Right, yes, friends? sir. So, in the statements they have given, okay, for these statements, many people solve uh, in different kind methods, sir. Yes, okay, sir. For silox, sir. Yes, they sir. will do directly yes, sir. by giving the code or sir. in the OLs. Yes, okay, sir. But by putting the diagrams also, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so, we will see uh, the statement, some cats are almaris, okay, then some almaris are chairs, yes. then all chairs are tables. Yes, okay? sir. For example, they have given like this, sir. Okay, let me... Right. For statement, I do have a question paper. I'll read it here and I'll solve the. I'll draw the diagram here, friends. Okay. Let me see here. Some cats are almaris here. Some cats are almaris. Yes. Comma. Some almaris are chairs. Chairs. This is cat here. Okay. Then all chairs are tables. All chairs are tables. Right, friends. Yes. Now they are asking the conclusions. Okay. Conclusion number one. Here it is. Certainly, some almaris are tables. Some almaris are tables. Yes, sir. Right? Then that is obviously conclusion number one. Follows, yes, sir. Okay. Right. Yes, then sir. conclusion number two. Some cats may not be chairs. Okay. Right. Some cats may not be chairs. chairs. Yes. Obviously, sir, that is also true. Right, okay. friends. When we draw one more possibility, in that also it will be follows. Right, friends. Yes. So option both are right answer here. So conclusion option number C. Both conclusion one and two is a right answer. That friends. means C is the right C answer. C is the right answer. Sir. Yes. Option number C. Okay, sir. Okay, friends. We'll move for the next question now. Next question. Okay, sir. 
Here the question is question number 14. Is the given a boy plays with a ball and he dropped it from a height of 1.5 meter. Yes. Every time the ball hits the ground, comma, it bounces back to, to attain at in the height of four fifth of the previous yes, height. height. Yes. The ball does not okay, we'll bounce. Uh, mention the uh, yes. highlight this one. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. The ball does not bounce further if the previous height is uh, less, less than, than 50, 50 centimeter. centimeter. Okay. What is the number of times the ball hits, hits the, the ground, ground before, before the, the ball stops bouncing. bouncing? Okay. Yes. Now see here, dear students. Now what has happened? Now there is 1.5 meter. Now let us convert it in the form of uh, okay. We let us convert it in the form of centimeter. So it will become 150 centimeter. Okay. Now what he is telling me that there is a boy who is dropping a ball. So it will bounce. So whenever it bounces, what will happen? It will come at the height of four fifth of the previous height. So now you see, first he has dropped it from 150 centimeter. That means it is going to come 4 by 5th of it. Okay. So first time it will come 4 by 5th of it. Okay. So 5, you see you just cancel it 3. So 4 3 is 12. So 120 centimeter the height of the ball will be there. Okay. Now second time what happens? Now see this value is not less than 50 centimeter because if this height will become less than 50 centimeter then the ball will not bounce. That is what it is given in the question. Now see. Now 120, okay, 120 into 4 by 5, if you do it, okay, so 5, 2 is 10, 5, 4 is a, so it will become 96, okay, now again 96 into 4 by 5, okay, so if you just cancel it, it will become around 76 point something you will get, okay, now again if you just 76 4 by 5, if you do it, then you will get 61 point something, Okay, then again if you do 61, the 61 into 4 by 5, you will get 49 point something. So that means you see this value, okay, this value, it is becoming less than 50. That means after this, the ball is not going to bounce. Okay, so how many times it is going to bounce? Now see, most of the students are having confusion with 4 and 5 option. Okay, now let me explain you this. Okay. Now, what will be the correct answer? You see, what he has told, what he has told me, what is the number of times the, the ball, ball hits? Okay, this is very important. Okay, the ball hits the ground. Okay, the ball hits the ground. Now you see. Now, first time when it was left from here, it was 150. Okay, and let us say it will bounce straight only. Let us take it bit curved. Okay, now it will attain the height of 120. Okay, it will attain a height of 120. Then when it will come down, it will bounce, then it will bounce and then it will reach a height of 96. Okay, then it will come down and then it will bounce again and then it will reach the height of 76. Okay, then it will come down and again it will bounce. So it will become how much here? 61. So this is 61. And then when it comes down, it hits the ground. Now this time it is not going to bounce because it is going to attain a height of 49 so less than 50 then it will not bounce okay so now you see how many times it is going to touch the ground okay so this is 1 2 3 4 and 5 so most of the students are telling that 4 will be the answer okay so what is the right, right answer for this 5 because he has clearly told me that what is the number of times the ball hits the ground before the ball stops bouncing okay so before the ball stops bouncing right so option number B is the right yes, answer. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Fine. So next, we'll move for the next question, friends. Now. Okay. The fifteenth question. <coughs> Here it is. The image of the consonants of the English alphabet. Okay. Capitals are observed in a mirror. See, friends, they are telling about the alphabets, right? So one to twenty-six alphabets are there. They are only talking about the consonants here. In consonant means we are removing the vowels, right? Only we are counting the consonants here. So. These consonants which we are showing in the mirror means observed in the mirror means opposite action, sir. Okay. What is the number of images of uh, this which do not look like uh, their original position? Okay. Okay. Sir. So let me see here. I'll write down the uh, alphabets here, sir. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y. Said okay, friends. So these are the 26 alphabets. Only they said about consonants. Okay, so we'll remove the ovals here.
right? Yes. So only the remaining is 21 alphabets here. Okay, the five vowels we removed here. When we see in the mirror in the opposite direction, okay. So which place, which uh, sorry, what is the number of the images of this which do not look like the like original their original shape? shape. Yes. Okay. Sir. See here, friends. When we look in the mirror, some of the alphabets look same. Right? Yes. So, which is not looking the original means uh, which looks same. No, we have first we have to count like them the, that uh, alphabets. Apart from that, which are not looking same, okay? Then remaining are the we have to tell the answer here. Yes. Let me see here when we see B, uh, B, C, D, they look opposite in the mirror, okay? So, first one is H. When you see the H in the mirror, it seems like same again, yes, sir. right? So, H and second one is M. M also looks same, sir, yes, sir, in the mirror, right? Then comes to the T, sir. Yes, T sir. looks same. Yes, sir. Then as well as a v. v. Yes, sir. Then W. Yes, sir. Then as well as a X. X. Okay. So here it is one, two, three. Okay. That is four, five, and six, friends. Okay. There is one controversy here. That is controversy means sir, the some people write Y like this. When we look in this uh, mirror, it will look opposite, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. But some people asking the question, sir, we are writing Y like this also. Yes. But it seems same, same in the mirror. Also. Okay. So we can't take a Y as a predicting it will come or not. Okay. Apart from this, sir, we are left means sir, when we counting. Okay. See here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, that is 13, right? 14, 15. If we consider Y is a 15. If we take also Y, that is a 14. So answer okay. is coming. A Two bit answer, sir. Okay, it sir. might be 14 or 15. Yeah. We don't exactly. Okay, why? Because of why. Okay. okay. Yes, Some sir. people uh, say the why will come next, but but uh, this is why is also right, sir. Yes, sir. Some people write uh, like this also. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. So we can't judge. Yes, so sir. options, the both is coming. Okay, we get to know it might be 14 or 15. 15. Right? Okay. But the exact marks will be given by only for one option. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. But the, what the possibilities are, I told you. Yes, right, sir. Right, friends? Yes. Okay. So okay. we'll move for the next question. Next question, sir. Sure. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. You have uh, one question on direction, I suppose. Yes, uh, it's <laughs> a very interesting topic here. Okay. In the last class also, means uh, in when we solved 19 and 20 paper, previous papers of CSAT. Yes, okay, sir. The direct questions are repeated, sir. Okay. okay. Again, the question is repeated here. Okay. Sir, will you please read the question? Yes. Sir. A bank employee drives 10 kilometers towards south from her house. Okay. okay and then turns to her left and drives another 20 kilometers. Okay. She again turns left and drives 40 kilometers. Then she turns to her right and drives for another 5 km. Yes, sir. She again turns to her right and drives another 30 km to reach her bank where she works. Okay. Yes, she so, works. what is the shortest distance between her bank and her house? Yes, sir. Okay. So, will you please once again read me the question? I yes. put the diagram here, friends. Yes, yes sure, sir. sir. Sure. Yes, sir. Okay. A bank employee drives 10 km towards the south, sir. South. 10 uh, km towards, towards the south. South will take a Okay. 10 kilometer. Okay, towards the south. Okay, okay sir. Yes. From ours and and turns to her left. Left. Yes. How many kilometers, sir? Yes. And yes. drives another 20 kilometers. Okay. It is yes. She will 20. drive 20 kilometers. Yes. 20 kilometers. She turns left and drives 40 kilometers. 40, friends. Already here, this 10 is there. Okay. So first we will equal to 10. Okay. Then remaining is 40. 30 plus 10, that is 40. Yes, sir. Then she turns. Okay. Uh, to her right huh. and uh, drives for another 5 kilometers. 5 kilometers, friends, sir. Yes. Facing to the right. Yes. 5 kilometers. Yes. She again turns to her right and drives another 30 kilometers. 30. Sir. So we having the exact uh, place here 30. Yes, sir. So here it is a uh, 30. 30. Okay. Right. Okay. What is the yes. what shortest, is the shortest distance is between her uh, bank and house? Guys, this is a starting point. Right, friends? So here it is. We started the means way she starts here to go south side. So this is the ending point. From here is 20 means uh, here is also 20. Then here it is 5. It is a 5. So it is 25 kilometers. Yes. So with the C in the option, that is option number 25. B, 25 yes. kilometers. 25 kilometers. Right, sir. Yes. I think it's an uh, might easy, sir. Easy yes. question. Easier question. Okay. Yes. It's, it's uh, to the plus point to the students, sir. Yes, sir. Now, so sir, what I want to ask you, yes, sir. what is the shortest distance between her bank and her home? Yes, sir. So, in physics, what we do, yes, sir. the shortest distance between initial point and final point is called as displacement. Yes, sir. So, I think 
in upcoming days might be yes. so instead of asking in this way he can ask this question what is the displacement in this given question yes sir one more question will come in sir yes sir uh, what the question you asked that is right sir exactly yes, sir. okay yes. it might be in the future days that type of questions will come yes sir in the examination right so one more so for example sir what is the shortest distance yes sir okay from her bank her house to her bank okay, okay they only ask the distance sir okay it might come uh, in which direction also yes very okay. good sir. yes uh, from the starting point yes sir. to to the ending point ending point what is the distance what and is, in which what, direction which from, direction from, from the is. starting point yes only how many distance means we are taking 25 yes. kilometers yes sir. right so it is facing to the south we say south yes when they said from the starting point, point yes okay, it is east 25 kilometers sir. yes the but direction because, will change yes, sir. when yes. we consider from the uh, south, no sir. Yes, sir. It's from starting point, we have to look like a. Yes. There, from starting point. Right? Yes, sir. So here it is, east, okay. 25 meters. Yes. So many types the questions will come, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. There are but many possibilities. But the sir. possibilities are there. Yes, sir. The authorities, the who's are. Uh, <laughs> okay, sir. sir no, questions. actually, sir was talking with us, and yeah. he has told that we are going to start with CSAT, CSAT uh, series in YouTube itself for free of cost. Sure. So sir. for that, you have to subscribe our YouTube channel for further notifications yes, sir. yes in the upcoming further classes we are going to discuss the many examples and the new up, uh, questions which will help for your examinations yes definitely right. yes now we have one question here integers are listed from 700 to 1000 in how many integers is the sum of the digits 10 yes. okay sum of the digits i think it is a easy question okay and when i was telling you how to preparation how to uh, solve in csat I had made a short video and I had told you there you always uh, start with the easy question. So this would be the better question to start with. Okay. Now you see what he has told me from 700 to 1000 how many integers are there which is going to give me the digits as a 10. Matlab, when I sum it I should get 10. Now see we will start from 700 only. So you see he has told me 700 sir already 7 is given to me. Yes. That means to make it 10 I need only 3. Yes, two. I need only three. So yes. how can I place that? See so here, this seven uh, not three. Students will get to know that. Yes, sir. Yes, they sir. They have given seven. Okay. Yeah. So that is I the main thing here. Yes, they have already given seven because he has told me from seven hundred to one thousand. Yes. Okay. So seven hundred already seven is present here. So to make it ten, so I need three more. So how can I place this three? You see, one way is seven not three. You just reverse it. It will become another number that is seven. 30. This is one possibility. And now we can do it like this also, sir. 7, 21, because this is also going to give me 10, and 7, 12 also. Okay. So another possibility is not there, because 7 place is already taken by it, and the sum of this 3, these are the maximum possibilities. So this is in 700. Sir. 700 now 800 we will talk, sir. Yeah. And see, 800 is still easier than this, because already 8 is given to me. So yeah. I need only 2. two, two. Okay. So what is the possibility? 8, not 2. two. Okay, so 820 and 811, that's it. Okay, so there is no other number which is only of 8. Only seven, three possibilities. Sir. Three possibilities, yes. sir. Okay, now another one is 900. 900. And it is again very simple than this. Because that already is 9 is given to one. me. Yeah. So I need only one number. One. So that I can place it as what? 901 nine and 910. Nine okay, yes. nothing else. So how many integers are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So answer for this question is 9, D. sir. Option number D is a right, right answer. answer for this. 9. Okay, yes. Friends. Shall we move to the next question, sir? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, okay. sir, your question. Again, the, this question is related to the direction test. Right, friends? Okay. A woman runs 12 kilometers towards her north, then she, sorry, then 6, six kilometers towards her south. See, friends, here, I'll draw the diagram here. The woman, okay, to the north. How many kilometers? Here it is. 12 kilometers okay 12 kilometers then she six then six kilometer towards her south again she coming reverse six that is a here it is yes six kilometer okay first she walks to the north 12 kilometers again back to south right friends so her south and then eight kilometer to her east, east. so this is a east east yes 8 kilometers right then in which direction is she from her starting point right yes. so here it is the starting point so this is an entire problem in this problem they have if uh, 12 and they made again it's a half means they made six sides, yes sir right? yes sir now we are finding the direction here from the starting point just we have to put on plus here sir yes okay sir. in between of this yes okay so means north south east west okay. so that is a 
north east sir yes but one more thing we have to find out here sir yes this uh, north east answer the direction will come okay. but the angle of this okay 45 okay sir okay. it's not the exact 45 sir it is a less than 45 yes 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 okay. Okay. we'll check the options sir yes just a minute surely sir. see here sir yes an angle less than 45 Southeast, no sir. Southeast answer will not come. Not here. come. And this one, southeast answer will not come. not come. Okay. The only two options are there. That is B and D. Okay. okay. North of east, but the angle of the angle more than forty-five, 45 degree. degree. Yes. I said it is will come less. Less than. Why? Because uh, C here, sir. Yes. Come reverse and when breaking is in the half section. Okay. Right, sir. So in angle less than forty-five degree, degree. northeast. Yes. See here, northeast. Yes, sir. So option number B will B be the right answer. Right answer. Okay. Okay, friends. We'll move for the next question. Now. Next question. Yes. Okay. Question number 19. Yes. One uh, good question, sir, again. Yes, sir. Okay. And a simple question also. Okay. So, now what he has told me if 3 raised to 2019 is divided by 10, okay, it is divided by 10, 10. then what is the remainder? Now, dear students, now first see the value, whatever value I am going to get here, <coughs> if I divide it by 10, then you see what is the remainder he is asking me. And whenever we divide a number, okay by 10 whatever will be its last digit okay that itself will be my remainder okay if it is 0 if the last digit is 0 then it is completely getting divisible by 10 okay so that means to find the remainder I have to find the last digit of this number now you see now this is the power that is 2019 now how to do this you see for 3 in the form of powers there are only 4 possibilities that means my last digit will be there will be only 4 possibilities now what are those possibilities see here I will write them last digit ok so it can be 3 this is one possibility sir yes sir. then 9 ok then 7 and then it will be 1, one. so these are the 4 possibilities, possibilities ok you take any power of this 3 the last digit will be any one of this number ok fine now what I have to do I have to find the last digit of this so I have to find what is the last, last digit, digit of this number so how to find it what we have to do sir we have to divide this number by 4, four. now why 4 because there are 4 possibilities, possibilities yes. yes and what students do sir they will divide this entire number by 4 but divisibility of a 4 what it tells me you have to divide only the last 2 digits sir. Okay, so if you just divide the last two digits by 4, so how much it will become? 4 fours are 16. Okay, here the remainder is 3. three. Okay, so now let me tell you if my remainder, okay, if my remainder is 1, so I will write it here. If my remainder is 1, then the last digit will be 3, sir. If my remainder is 2, the last digit will be 9. nine. If the remainder is 3, the last digit will be 7. seven. And if remainder is 0, then the last digit will be 1. one. Now, here I am getting remainder as three, 3, sir. So, for remainder 3, what is the last digit? It is a 7, seven. sir. So, 7 will be my right answer. Right. So, option C is the answer yes. for this question. Yes? Okay. okay. Right, friends. We'll move for the next question now. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Yes, this was very good question, sir. Yes. Actually, and uh, I think I will place this bit uh, in a moderate level. Okay, this question was a bit moderate, sir. Shall I so read the question, sir? Yes, uh, sure, sir. Yeah. Then question number 20. Consider all three digits number. Yes, sir. This is very important. Yeah. All three digit yes. numbers. Okay. All See, so you have to highlight that one okay, yes. when you are solving the problem. So, what the uh, sir, students, what the uh, mistakes they are doing? Yes, sir. Just they go through the, just reading the question fastly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. They yes, will not sir. mention what they are asking. Exact yes, sir. words. Yes, okay. sir. So, all the three digit numbers without repetition. Again, you see, digits. this is also very important, yes, sir. sir. Without Repe repetition. Without repetition. repetition. Okay. Of digits. Yes. Obtained using the three non zero, zero digits. digits which are multiplies no. of 3. Yes, this is also again important, sir. Yes, sir. And they are non zero. Non -zero. Even this is important. Yes. Now, see here, dear students. Let S yes be their sum. S yes be the sum. Yes. Okay. So, when I add them, whatever value I am going to get, that is nothing but sum. So, so, let us understand this question first. So, let us assume that these are the three digit number x, y, and z. Okay. Let us first understand what are the conditions. Now, what he has told me that without repetition, Okay, without repetition and they are to be non-zero. That means one thing you can understand that these values are not equal to each other. Why? Because if they are equal, then it will become repetition. Okay, so that means these values are distinct. Okay, these values are distinct and they are non-zero. That means they are not equal to zero. Okay, so now what he has told me, we have to find all those three digit numbers, okay, which follow the repetition. Okay, so instead of doing it directly, 
So finding instead of finding all the numbers, sir, yes, sir. you can follow this pattern, sir. Sure, so sir, what we can do here is one is x, y, z. Okay. So again, you see, you can write x and x here, and here you can just change it as y, y z. Yes. This is one set, sir. Then what you do? You write y and y, sir. Okay. So y means x, z, and here you write z, x, sir. Okay. And what the third is z and z. So here you write x, y, and here y, x. x. Okay, so these are the possibilities. possibilities. Sir. Okay, because we are following this condition. Now, sir, I will tell you. Now, this value, this value, whatever it is, we can write it in this way also: 100x plus 10y plus z. Okay, sir. Yes, I am just adding it. Right, okay, sir. so this value can also be written as 100x S plus 10z plus y, y, and so on. Continue. So I am yes. going to write this all these values. Yes. Sir. And at the end, sir. At the end, when I sum this, because he has told me, let S be the sum. Yes. Okay. So whatever that S sum will be, it will be 222 into x plus y plus z. I am going to get this as my sum, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So this is the sum of that number. Okay, so why it is time consuming? Because we have to add all these values. So I have just added it. So directly I am writing the equation here. Okay, so now see, now let us bring out to the conclusions here. S yes is always divisible by 74. Now see, this number is 3 times of 74. When this number is completely divisible by 74, then its multiple, okay, whatever this value will be, it will be the multiple of this. So it is definitely going to divide this number. That means statement 1 is correct. Okay, now S yes is always divisible by 9. Okay, so in the previous video, okay, I had told you the divisibility rule for uh, 9. What I had told you, the digit sum will be 9. Okay, so the digit sum will be 9. Now you see, these numbers are multiples of 3. So he has told me it is multiple of 3. That means, whatever digit sum I am going to get here, it will be 3, 6 or 9. Yes, these are the 3 possibilities. Now we will take the least possibility 3 if you multiply this 3 to this okay so it will see here the digit sum is 6 6 into 3 the minimum value I am considering here I am getting 18 18 digit sum means 9 that means this value is completely divisible by 9 okay you can check it for 6 also okay if you check it for 6 also 6 into 6 is 36 36 the digit sum is 9 that means again it is divisible by 9 so 9 multiple means it is 9 only it is completely divisible by 9 so both the statements will be followed so, so the right answer is option number c yes sir both 1 and 2 both 1 and 2 sir okay sir. Uh, it was a good question sir right sir. bit lengthy and calculative yes sir okay yes. fine so we'll move for the next question next now. question sir yes yes this is also uh, Question, sir. A good question. Yeah. Okay. It's relating to the price of petrol. Petrol, right? sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So I think it is related to current affairs also. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> okay, sir. So from January one, okay, uh, twenty twenty one. That means he is talking about this year only, yes, sir. sir. Yes. Okay. Uh, this is also important point, sir. Yes. Yes. Uh, I will tell you why. The starting date. Yes. Yeah. The price of the petrol in rupees, okay, per liter on yamth day of the year is 80 plus 0 0.1 meter okay sorry 0 0.1 yam so 80 plus 0 0.1 yam okay fine where yam is 1 2 3 and 100 okay it will go on till 100 and what he is telling me and thereafter remains constant means after 100 this value will be constant means the price of the petrol will be constant okay so now what i will do i will place 100 here sir yes, the sir. maximum value okay so if i place 100 here so 80 plus so here i am going to get 10 so it will become 90 Yes, sir. Okay. So that means after 90, the price of the petrol will be constant. constant. But now it is going above 100. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. Sir. Fine. That is real situation, sir. Okay. <laughs> now, therefore, remains constant. On the other hand, the price of the diesel, the price of the diesel in rupees on liter on nth day of 2021 is, okay, it is 69 plus 0 0.15 EM. Okay. EM5, N. Sorry. It is N. N, sir. Okay. Let me please correct it. Okay, so it is yen. yen. Okay, yes, it sir. is yen. Okay, for okay. any yen. yen, again it is 1, 2, 3 and 4, so on. Okay, on which date, okay, in the year 2021 are the price yes, of the two fuels equal? So he is asking me on what day yes, the sir. price of the petrol and price of the diesel will be equal. equal. So he is asking me the exact date, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, okay, sir. and he is telling me that it is from January. 
January of First. this year. Yes, okay. Sir. So now you see, I got the value as 90. Now what I will do, I will going to find that value of n, okay, which will be equals to this 90 side. 90. Okay. So if I take this 69 that side, it will become 0.15 n is equal to 21 and n will be 140, sir. Okay, so n value will be 140, 140. or you can say 140 days, sir. 140 days. Okay, so now you see, sir, in the January 2021, 20, so on the January we had 21 days. S sir, sorry, 31 days. 31 days, yes, sorry. Sir. And in February we had 28 days. days. This is important, sir. Yeah, sir. Okay, in because. Normal year. Yes, okay. this is normal year. It is not a leap year. Yes. Okay, so then you are going to have 31 again and you are going 30. to have 30. Okay, now if I add all this value, see, this is in the January. Okay, this is in February, February. this is March and this is April. April. Okay, so if I add this, so 8 and 2, it is becoming 10. Okay, so here it will become 120. So 120 days, sir. So that means 4 months, 120 days, but I am getting 140 days, sir. Yes, sir. So that means if I subtract this, in the next month, after April, I am having May, sir. In May, on 20 days from May, sir. 20th May. Yes. Yes, sir. In May, 28th day. Okay. The price of the petrol and diesel, diesel will be, be same, same, sir. So, option okay. number yes. B is yes. the right answer. Yes. Now, sir, here, 21st May is also given. Now, if this was a leap year, then here, 29. Yes, yeah, sir. That's and why that I, yeah, huh. sir, that's why I told you. Yes. It's a normal year. Normal year, sir. Why? Because the students get to know that, okay? Yes, sir. What the exact date they have given and we have to consider the consider normal this, year or leap year. Yes, sir. So, why the options will be given as both options? Yes, sir. In Haribari, yes. when we didn't see the date, date, we'll go through this one. Okay, that will okay. be wrong. Penalty yes. mark of one third. Yes, sir. So, exact answer is a 20th, 20th May. May. Yes. yes Let us move to the next question, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So, a biology class at high school predicted that a local population of the animal Animals. will double in size. So it is going to double. Okay. So every 12 years. Sir, he has told me every 12, 12 years. years sir. Okay. The population at the beginning oh. of year 2021 was estimated to be 50 animals. 50 animals. So see sir, first there were 50 animals. Yes sir. Okay. So first there were 50 animals. Okay. And after 12 years. After 12 years, yes, it sir. became double. double. So it is becoming 100. double every 12 years. So on 24th year, okay, it will become 150. Sorry, I'm uh, sorry for that. Okay, so it will become 200. Why, yes, sir. Why? Because now 50 is double is 100. Sir. Yes. Here so double is, it's double. Sir. It, it will become 200. So it is going to be 200. Yes, sir. Yes, okay, sir. and yes. so on. So on. It is going to be repetition. Right. Okay. Now what he is telling me? Then which one of the following equation represents the model? Okay, of the class for the population. Yes, sir. So that means they have given one formula, sir. Yes, sir. We have to find which formula is correct. Right, now sir. what we will do? We will put the value of n in place of n. We will put 12, and we will find if for what value I am going to get 100 as the answer. Yes, sir. Because after 12 years it is going to be double. At presently it is 50, sir. 50, sir. After 12 years it will be double. Double. Now most of the student what they think they take 12 here for 50. That no, is wrong. Wrong, sir. Okay, right, sir. so that is wrong. For so for twelve years it is hundred. So if you just substitute twelve here, okay, so it you are going to get a very large number, more than hundred. So that means this cannot be my answer. Okay, the sum cannot be the answer. Now you see, now two power twelve into okay twelve that is one forty four. So two power one forty four again you are getting more than hundred. So what is left? Only this option. So this is my right answer. But still we will just substitute it see here p is equal to 52 okay into the 12 n is 12 12 by 12 so here it will become 1 sir yes, so sir. anything raised to 1 the same number that is 2. 2 so 50 into 2 is nothing but 100 so in place of n i substituted 12 sir 12. Yes. So see, for 12 years it is 100 and I am getting the same result same. here. That means this equation is the correct okay. answer for right, this sir. question. Okay, sir. Yes. Right, sir. Shall right, we move to the next question, sir? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Right, sir. In a class, 60 percent of students are from India. Yes, sir. Right. So, so if you consider as 100. 100. We will yes, consider sir. it as 100, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So if we consider that there are 100 then students, that means 60, 60 are Indians. So 60 percent oh. students are Indian okay. and 50 percent of students are girls. Girls. That means from here 50 are girls sir. Yes, okay. Sir. 50 are girls and 50 are boys. Yes. Okay. If 30 percent of Indian students are girls. Yes. 30 percent. 30 percent. So 30 percent of this sir. Yes sir. Okay. See sir 60 percent if they are Indians. Yes. Then remaining 40 are foreigners. Foreigners. Yes. Yes. Sir. And from this 
what he has told me 30 percent are Indian, Indian students are girls. girls. Okay, so 60 into 30 means 3 by 10. 10 sir. Okay, so if you cancel it, you are so going 18. to get 18. 18. Okay, so total there are 50 girls. Yes, sir. Now if I subtract this 18. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So how much I am going to get here? 32. Yes, yes I am going to get 32. Two, yes, so sir. that means 32 girls. These 32 girls are foreigners, sir. Because already 18 girls are Indians. Indians. So remaining girls will be definitely foreigners, foreigners only. That means here the girls, 32 are girls, girls. here. Right, yes. Okay. So what percentage of foreign students are boys? Boys. So see, here there are 40. Okay. And in that 32 are girls. So remaining 8 will be boys. Boys. So boys are what percent he has percent asked me. Has. So 8, 8 are boys and it divided by 40. So it will become 1 by 5. So 1 by 5 is nothing but it is 20 percent. So 20 yes. percent of this is the answer for answer. this question. Right. So option number D is a right, right answer. answer for this. Okay. So we will move for the next question. Next question now. Yes. Okay. Sir, your question. Uh, a statement followed by conclusion 1 and a conclusion 2 is given below. You have to take the statement to be true even if it is, seems to be a variance from the commonly known facts. Read all yes. the conclusions and then decide which one of the which of the given conclusion logically follows or follow from the statement. This regarding the commonly known facts. Sir. Okay. Yes. The again syllogisms is repeated. Sir, yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Well, let me see the question here, sir. Yes, sir. Some radios are mobiles. Yes. Okay. Let me draw the diagram here, sir. First, the statements. Yes, sir. Some radios are. Some radios. Radios are mobiles. Yes. Now, second one is all mobiles are computers. Yes. All mobiles are computers. Computers. Yes. Some computers are watches. Some, Some computers, computers are watches. watches. Yes, okay. sir. So this is a one type of a diagram, sir. Yes, the original sir. diagram. Yes. What they ask you, we have put in the diagram. Same way. Okay, so sir. one more possibility will come. Okay, Some sir. Watches might become also mobiles as well as the radios. Okay, sir. Okay. Let okay. me see here, sir. Radio, then the mobile, right? Then computer. Yes, sir. Let me take this one, sir. Okay. Watches, yes. Right? There is another possibility. Yes, sir. One more yes. possibility. Okay. Yes, sir. Might be they didn't say don't take uh, okay. the watches and mobiles are not related like that. Sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Let me see the question number. Uh, sorry, conclusion number one. Yes. Certainly. Some radios. Yes. Sir. Some radios are watches. Watches. Some radios are watches. Watches. It doesn't follow here, sir. Yes, sir. Here it is follows. following. Okay. Yes. See, when we draw the two, two diagrams here, yes. the answer should be both a side right. Then only yes. we are considering that is a right answer. Yes. Sir. So, but don't think, sir, 50 percent is right. That 50 percent is wrong. Okay. Uh, it is a possibility, maybe. Okay, okay sir. We can take note like that, sir. Okay, okay, sir. So let me. The first option is a wrong oh. option, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, conclusion number two. Yes. Certainly, some mobiles are watches. Sir. Yes. Here some it is. Mobiles are watches. Some mobiles are. Watches. Some mobiles are watches. Watches. It doesn't follow, sir. Yes, sir. But here some mobiles are watches. Watches. Okay. It is. Yes. So here is also is not matching the proper. Yes. We are not getting a proper answer, sir. Yes, So sir. second is also wrong not one, one, sir. Yes. So in the options we'll see. Yes, sir. Okay. Neither conclusions one, one or two, two follows. follows. Right. Yes. So option number D is a right. Answer. Right answer. Yes, sir. Right, friends. Yes. Okay. So stop. Yes. Shall we move to the next question, sir? Yes, sir. Okay. A pie diagram shows percentage distribution of protein, water and other dry elements in the human body. Yes. Sir. Okay. So, given that protein corresponds to 16 percent. So, protein is 16 percent, 16 percent, sir. sir. Okay. So, protein is 16 percent. <coughs> so, protein is 16 percent, sir. Okay. And water corresponds to 70 percent. Okay. If both proteins and the other dry elements, okay, other dry elements correspond to P percentage. P percentage. Okay. Now, this is important point, sir. Now, suppose if I take this as my pie chart, yes, sir. then what he is telling me that if 70 percent, so this is 70 percent. Okay. So, 70 percent of it is water. Okay. So, this is water. And now what he is telling me, if both proteins, so some 16 percent is protein, sir, here. Yes, 16 right. percent is protein right. and whatever is remaining, okay, that is nothing but our dry elements. Dry elements. Okay, dry elements. And now what he is telling me, if both proteins and other dry, dry elements, elements correspond to P percentage, P percentage, that means this both the elements he is talking about, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, and what he is telling me that this both the are P percentage. This both are Fine, P sir. percentage. Okay, that means you see, if this is 70 percent, sir, then this is 30 percent. So, 30 percent. So, this value is 30 percent, which is nothing but P. P. 
So P percentage is 30 percent. Yes. Now what he is telling me, sir, then what, what is, is the central this? angle of the sector Sector. representing P on the pie chart? Pie. So we have to find how much degree it is. Now we know, sir, that the uh, the circle has a 360 degree. Yes, sir. And if we complete this as 100 percent, so 100 percent will be equals to 360. Yes, sir. Yes, 360 degree, sir. Okay. And I have to find the value of 30 percent of this. So 30 percent is equal to X. X. Let us consider it like this. X. Okay. So now if I send this X here and this value, yes, so sir. directly X is equal to 360 into 30 divided by 100. So it is comes out to be 108 degree, sir. Yes. Sir. 108 8 degree. degree. So that is nothing but option, option number C. C. That option number C is the right answer. Right answer for this question. Okay. Yes. Right friends, we'll move for the next question now. Let us see the question here. Uh, Joseph visits the club on e every fifth day, comma. Harsha visits on every 24th day, while uh, Sumit visits on every ninth day. Full stop. If all three of them met at the club on Sunday, then on which day will all three of them met again? Okay friends, so let me see here, they given fifth and as well as, here it is, ninth and 24th. So we are taking as a, 5, 9 and 24. So we're removing as a factorial is 5, then 9 factorial is 3, again 3, then 3 and 8. So when we calculate this here, 5 into 3, sorry, it's a 5. Five three into 3. So here it is 45 into 8. So that is a 360 here friends right friends so now we are finding uh, on they given the days here it is Sunday right friends okay then on which day will be all three of them meet again for example 360 okay divided by 7 right friends so 7 one ja here it is 5 so it remaining is 1 then again 7 one ja the remainder is a uh, 3 friends okay so we get to know that the, the remainder is 3 means uh, the given here it is uh, the day of the sunday if all three of them met at club on sunday so here it is i'll take zero as a sunday the day is uh, whichever they have given we have to consider as a zero as a that day here it is the given as a sunday means uh, taking as a zero as a sunday then one is monday then two is a tuesday three is a wednesday right so reminder is three here friends so third day is a Wednesday. So your option number B is a right answer, friends. Okay, fine. So we'll move for the next question now. Okay, let us see here uh, the next question. On a chessboard, in how many different ways can six consecutive squares be chosen on the diagonals along a straight path? Right, friends. So for example, here in the particular chessboard, here it is. Right, there are sixty-four squares. Means here it is, like this, eight into eight. But they are asking a diagonal, right? When we check in the diagonal, okay, for example here, six consecutive. Here it is, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For example, okay friends, eight. When we check here, one, two, here it is, six, then two to seven, then three to six. Okay, three possibilities are there here. Again, in the another diagonal, again three. So answer is six. The option number is B, friends. Right. So B is a right answer. In the both the diagonals, okay, three possibilities, three, three. That is six. Right, friends. We'll move for the next one now. Right. Okay. So friends, uh, this is the reasoning part which I am solving here, right? Here the question, in the series, here it is, there is a blank of here, alphabetical order they have given, B, A, B, A, B, then gap is there again, A, B, A, B, gap, A, A, B. We have to check this, all the four options which we get the right answer by matching the alphabetical series here, right friends? There is nothing else, they have to make the groups here. So here it is the A, B, A, B, A, B, the option number is D is a right answer. For example, here it is A, B, again A, B, A, B. Right, friends? So this is a, your right answer. Option D. Okay. Fine. We'll move for the next one now. Right, friends? Next question here. 
in the code of language mathematics is written as l b s i d n z u h d r they given like this okay then how is chemistry written in that code language they given the question mark here so let me see first here we'll take the math mathematics how they had <coughs> solve this one means they given the code of mathematics here right friends first we get to know here they are given the code is l b s i d n z u h d r okay friends here it is m there is an l means a previous letter minus 1 a b next letter will take plus 1 again t s minus 1 h i plus 1 so the order is a plus minus 1 plus 1 so minus 1 plus 1 so when we take here chemistry for example we get to know the what is the concept here they are solving of this problem so that is chemistry that is a c minus 1 that is b plus 1 i then minus 1 d plus 1 n then minus 1 h plus 1 then minus 1 plus 1 then minus 1 that is x okay we'll check in the options b i d n h t w s x and that is the right the option number b is the right answer friends okay this is a minus 1 and plus 1 order okay friends so it's a easy one it comes in the coding and decoding right in that particular topic this questions will come here okay this is a letters coding right friends we'll move for the next question now okay let me see the question of this one at which one of the following times do the hours hand and the minute hand of the clock make an angle of 180 degree with each other okay friends so let me see here here it is right for example okay here it is 3 9 it is 6 they asking about the 7 right friends okay like this right here it is they asking uh, at which one of the following times do the hour hand and the minute hand of the clock make an angle of 180 degree right so 180 degree means it's already here it is 180 when we considering the all the clock here the number wise so we get to know that the options are given at 7 hours or between 7 hours and 7 5 hours so if we take here 7 5 it is not an exact of 180 degree why because when the minute hand moves right friends okay then you hover and also it moves little bit okay then here it is at 7 5 hours not we tell exactly that 7 5 between 7 hours 5 minutes and then 7 hours 10 means uh, it will be a uh, in between of this the exact answer that is a uh, 180 degree okay so option number d is a uh, right option friends okay fine we'll move for the next one right now we'll see the question here consider the two statements and a questions statement number 1 the last day of the month is wednesday in the statement 1 in the statement 2 the third saturday of the month was on 17th day right the third saturday was a 17th day they given particularly 17th is a sorry 17th is a saturday third day of uh, third saturday of the month was 17th day right friends then the question is asked what day is the 14th of the given month 14th of the given month see first we get to know that uh, first statement the last day of the month is wednesday when the given like this we can't tell that the last month of the last day of the month is wednesday means uh, in that month the last day is wednesday in month of that there is a 30 or 31 right it is in the normal year or leap year or else it's a 28 or 29 we can't say we don't know exactly of a which month or how many days okay the second statement the third saturday on the month was a 17th day right then here the given they ask the question here what day is the 14th of the given month if it is a saturday 17th is a saturday right friends then it is has all 16 friday then 15 thursday then 14 has a 
Wednesday. Okay, friends. So we'll check the statements here. The which one of the following correct to respect of the statements of the questions? Statement one alone is sufficient to answer, right? No. Then statement two alone is sufficient to answer. Both the statement and statement two are required to answer the question. Neither statement one alone and statement two is sufficient to answer, right, friends? The option number two is a right answer, friends. Okay. Two option is a right one. Okay. Statement two is given the proper information regarding of these days, right? Okay. We'll move for the next question now. Fine, friends. We'll come to the question. See what they said here. Which day is the 10th October 2027? Right, friends. They didn't give the day here. They didn't mention which day. Just directly they asked the 10th October 2027. So first we get to know that uh, in a year that is a uh, 365 days then divided by this that is a uh, one odd day. Just I'm telling you uh, in the normal year, right, friends. So 10th October 2027 means uh, 10th October. 2021 with the exams was held on that day right that is a sunday right friends then same date okay as follows 2022 monday then 2023 tuesday right friends then 2024 wednesday right friends so this is the 2024 is the leap year when we come to the next uh, two odd days will come so when we're moving to the next uh, two days the 2025 is a Wednesday is there here Thursday and it is a Friday two odd days okay next 2026 Saturday then 2027 is a again Sunday right friends so 10th October 2027 is a again Sunday friends okay so answer is a option number a right friends we'll move for the next question now Fine here. Consider the two statements and the uh, four conclusions given below. You have to check the statements to be true even if they seem to be at a variance from the commonly known facts. Read all the conclusions and then decide which of the following given conclusions logically follow from the statements disregarding to the commonly known facts. Okay friends. So let me see the statement here. The two statements are there, but they're given as the four conclusions, right? So only for the statements, we are drawing the diagrams here. Some statement number one, some greens are blue. Some greens are blue, right? Second statement here, some blues are black. Some blues are black, right, friends? So this is a, as usual, they're given the diagram. So one more possibility will come here. We can draw like this also, green, blue, black right friends so when we draw, uh, draw the possibility if in the conclusions means what the answer on the options so what if given either option right then it will be a agree let me see how the conclusion will follows here some greens are blacks some greens are blacks we can't say but here it is follows right friends okay then if the both side it is right means i told you in the last class only right in the previous which we are solving the old question papers or one in the classes right in the both side if it is right means the answer is right okay we can't consider as a 50 50 here right it is then when we comes diagonally then we are only considering that one let me see here second conclusion here no green is a black right friends is a no green is a black that is right here but some greens are black here here it is wrong if diagonally right right diagonally wrong wrong if like this it comes means it go for the either option either one or two like that in the options but here it is these two conclusions doesn't matter here then third one here all greens are black we can't say in the both side then all blacks are green all blacks are green this is also you can't say let me check the option here right here it is friends which one of the following is correct conclusion one and two only one and two only there is no option right friends in the both the side the answer will not come only one side wrong one side right one side wrong again means it's a 50 50 answer is there right i told you if they're given the either option apart from the neither it's either one or two we can say the right answer but there is no either option we have to doesn't consider that one so conclusion two and conclusion three only no then conclusion three and conclusion four we can't say that one exactly neither conclusion one nor two nor three nor four right friends the all the options are wrong here right the option number 
D is the right answer, friends. Okay, fine. Okay, so very interesting question here. Uh, what is the value of x in the sequence? Right, friends. So, is a number series they have given here. They find the missing number here. It is okay. Let me check here. They given the x value. We are finding there. What is the x value here. So first we get to know the whenever we following the number series first we have to check the number difference. If it is not matching as properly as in the serial order then we go for the further checking of a different signs or different method. Here it is. Let me check here. So 2 they have given the 7 here. Right. So I have to check it here. 3 into 3. <coughs> 2 into 3 that is 6 plus 1. 7. Next into 3 21 plus 1 22 into 3 66 plus 1 67 again into 3 right friends plus 1 that is 202 okay again into 3 right 606 plus 1 so that is a 607 the option is c friends right i'm sorry here here uh, i have written 2 it is a 3 right by mistake into 3 plus 1 is a right concept to calculate of this problem. Right, friends? So, this is our answer. That is 607 option number. C is a right answer. Okay, friends. We'll move for the next now. So, <coughs> a person X from a place A and another person from Y okay, from a place B set out at the same time to walk towards each other. Okay. So, there is some uh, certain distance here. Okay, and uh, he has told me that they are moving towards each other. The places are separated by a distance of 15 kilometers. So, the distance here it is 15 kilometers. Okay, so the distance given here is 15 kilometers. X walks with a uniform speed of 1.5 kilometer per hour. So, 1.5. So, let us say that X is here and y is here so they are moving towards each other so they are moving towards each other and speed of this is given to me that is 1.5 kilometer per hour yes 1.5 kilometer per hour okay now y walks with a uniform speed of 1 kilometer per hour in first hour so in the first hour he is walking with the speed of or he is moving with the speed of 1 kilometer per hour and with a uniform speed of 1.5 1.25 kilometer in the second hour so in the second hour he is moving with the speed of 1.25 kilometer per hour and with the uniform speed of 1.5 kilometer in the third hour and so on okay that means for every hour he is increasing his speed by 0 0.25 kilometer per hour okay fine so that means this person first he walked with the speed of 1 kilometer per hour okay so this is in the first hour in the second hour 1.25 okay 1.25 in the second hour then 1.5 in third hour okay and 1. Point, sorry 75 okay in fourth hour and 2 in fifth hour so and it goes on so it is 2.5 2.25 okay then 2.5 it will go on okay so now what he is telling me which of the following is correct okay so which of the following is correct they take five hours to meet they take five hours to meet so he has told me they will take five hours though let us calculate this person has traveled what kilometers in five hours so we have to multiply this five hours okay so this hour and hour will get cancelled so what is left kilometer that is 7.5 so 7.5 kilometers this person has traveled x has traveled 7.5 kilometers okay now let us see now every hour the value has been written so first hour 1 kilometer second hour 1.2 and so far and i have written here till 5 hours okay because he has told me after 5 hours so let us check what distance the second person is traveling in 5 hours so how much he is going to travel you see 75 25 it will become 100 and 5 that is nothing but here it will become 1.5 5. so here it will become 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so he is traveling 7.5 kilometers 
सो नाउ यू सी ही इज ट्रेवलिंग सेवन पॉइंट फाइव किलोमीटर्स ही इज ऑल्सो ट्रेवलिंग सेवन पॉइंट फाइव किलोमीटर्स एंड द टोटल डिस्टेंस इज फिफ्टीन किलोमीटर्स डेफिनेटली बोथ ऑफ देम आर गोइंग टू मीट आफ्टर फाइव आवर्स ओके फाइन नो वट इज द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दे मीट मिड वे ओके दे मीट मिड वे बिटवीन ए एंड बी ओके दे मीट मिड वे बिटवीन ए एंड बी यस डेफिनेटली दे आर गोइंग टू मीट एट द मिड वे बिकॉज द डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल्ड बाय X and the distance travelled by Y both is same. That is 7.5 kilometers, and 7.5 is the half of this 15. That means they are going to meet at the midway. That means both the statements are correct. So what will be the answer for this question? Both one and two are the right answers. Okay? Yes. Let us move to the next question. Okay. the difference between a two digit number and the number obtained by interchanging okay interchanging the positions of the digits is 54 okay is 54 okay and regarding that here there are two statements given so before going to this question okay let me explain you a small concept which is very important which i have already explained in the regular class so for youtube viewers you see now what i am telling you suppose there is a number that is 63 okay there is a number 63 and if i subtract it in the reverse of this that is 36 okay so what will be the answer just see here now what you do you just take the difference of this two digits now if you take the difference of this two digit then it is 3 whatever my answer will be okay whatever my answer will be it will be multiple of this difference that is 9 multiple of the difference so 9 into difference between okay that is 9 into difference between the digits so the difference here is 3 so 9 into 3 it is become 27 okay 27 now for example now if you see one more example here 51 okay 51 minus 15 Okay, fifty-one minus fifteen. Now, what is the difference here? It is four units. So nine into four, your it is it will be the answer for the difference of this number. So nine fours are thirty-six. So here you are going to have thirty-six. That means whenever we subtract any two number, uh, that is one number, two-digit number, and if we subtract in it in the reverse of it. okay when we interchange the number and if we subtract it in that it will be the difference between those digits into 9 into 9 so based on this concept this question has been asked okay so the difference between the two digit numbers okay and the number obtained by interchanging its position okay of the digits is 54 that means what he is telling me that suppose there is a number called as xy okay there is a number called as xy and when i subtract it in yx then i am getting 54 okay i am getting 54 now see just now i told you whatever value you get here okay that is whatever value you get here whatever value you get here after subtracting it it is nothing but it is 9 into the difference between those digits 9 into different between those digit that means when he is telling me it is 54 okay so what it is it is 9 into so 9 into difference 9 into difference okay 9 into difference is nothing but 54 so it is 6 so the difference will be 6 here the difference will be 6 that means can i say that x minus y is equal to 6 from here the difference is 6 so x minus y is 6 okay so we have understood some basic things here from here okay now let us look at the question one by one okay the sum okay the sum of the two digits of the number can be determined can be determined only if the product of the two digits is known to me that means what he is telling me that he wants x plus y he wants to know what is x plus y okay he wants to know what is x plus y the sum of the two digits okay of the number can be determined only if the product of the two numbers okay two digits is known to me so if you know x into y then can you find it 
yes definitely i can find okay what he is telling me if i know x into y okay if i know x into y if i have x into y then can i find x plus y this is what he is asking yes definitely we can because you see i know what is x minus y yes i know what is x minus y and if i know x into y then definitely i can find the value of x and y and when i find the value of x and y i can find the sum also that means first statement is correct now second statement the difference between the two digits okay the difference between the two digits of the number can be determined yes definitely it can be determined just now i told you the difference between it is nothing but always the multiple of 9 and i told you here also when he has told me that it is 54 then 54 if you divide it by 9 then you are getting 6 6 is the difference between those numbers okay so it is the difference between those x and y so x and y is a 6 so second statement is also correct so which one of the following statements are correct both 1 and 2 will be the answer for this question yes let us move to the next question yes the price of the article is decreased by 20% okay and then the new price is increased by 25% then what is the net change in the price what is the net change in the price see now let us assume that let us take this as 20% first so 20% and what he has told me that it has been decreased it has been decreased by 20% so let us take this 20% as 1 by 5 because it's equivalent fraction value so that means it is becoming 5 is becoming 4 that means 5 is the initial value 5 minus 1 is 4 because the value is been decreasing okay and the new price is increased by 20 per 25% so 25% its fraction value is 1 by 4 and 4 has become 5 because it is increasing so 4 is the initial value 4 plus 1 plus 1 because increasing 4 plus 1 is 5 okay so now what he is asking me is yes, what is asking me then what is the net change in the price what is the net change okay so if you just multiply this 5 fours are 20 okay and 5 fours are that is 4 fives are is also 20 so you see what is the change okay so in the questioning part i have told you in the regular class in the questioning part in the questioning part whenever more less increment decrement profit loss okay change raised gained such type of Uh, words are used in the questioning part then it is always represents the difference between greater value and smaller value and in the questioning part he has told me net change net change more less increment decrement all these terms in the questioning part represents the difference between greater value and smaller value and now you see both the values are same if i take the difference it will become 0 0 by 20 Zero by twenty is going to give me zero. So answer for this question is zero. That is A. Yes. Okay. Let us move to the next question. Yes. When a certain number is multiplied by seven, the product entirely comprises of ones only. That is one 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 one. Okay. What is the smallest such number? Okay. So here I have uh, four options. and you see the best way to solve this is you have to multiply this with 7 that's it okay so i think this is the most easiest question that has been asked okay and when you multiply this value 7 3 are 21 okay so 7 7 are 49 50 51 okay and it will go on so this is that value which you have you are going to get the answer in the form of 11111 so you check other three values you will not get the answer okay so it is the easiest question so let us not waste the time here let us move to the next question okay yes a man completes 7 by 8th of a job in 21 days so he is completing 7 by 8th of the job in 21 days now see here whenever fractions are given uh what you people have to do is you have to understand it in a proper way okay whenever fractions are given my denominator will represents total quantity my denominator always represents total quantity now what he is telling me a man completes 7 by 8th of the job in 21 that means total there was eight works to do 
total he had eight works to do in that he has done only seven works and that seven work he has done it in 21 days you have to understand it in this way so to do this he has taken three times of the value that is 7 3s are 21 so to complete the entire work to complete the 100 percent work so he will take three times of this 8 3s are 24 okay so to complete the work total work he will take 24 days fine now how many more days see more days more days okay will it take him to finish the job if quantum of the work if a quantum of the work is further increased okay it is increased by 50 percent okay it is increased by 50 percent now you see now work is always written in the denominator see he takes 24 days okay you just listen to me carefully he take 24 days to complete eight work okay he takes 24 days to complete eight works now when the 50 percent of this work has been increased 50 percent of the work means see already we have eight work and 50 percent of this is four work so 50 percent of this is four work it has been increased so eight plus four it will become total 12 work so this 12 work will be done in how many days we have to find it first okay so now you see so 8 threes are and this is 12 12 threes are is 36 okay so it will take 36 days to complete this entire work okay that is 12 units of work but what he has told me that how many more days are required so already he has taken 24 days here sorry uh, he has taken 21 days here okay already he has taken 21 days so you subtract that 21 days okay so how much it will become it will become 15 so in 15 days okay so 15 days is the answer see how many more days so just now in the previous problem itself i told you whenever in the questioning part of any problem if he is giving you if he is mentioning some terms like more less increment decrement profit loss net change okay so all these terms represents the difference between greater value and smaller value and same thing has happened here also he is telling me how many more days will it take him so how many more days so this is the entire when 100 percent that is total that 50 percent increment after 50 percent increment he is taking 36 days but to complete seven units of work he has taken 21 days so 21 days is the work that is completed so how many more days so difference between these two values is 15 so 15 will be the right answer for this question okay fine let us move to the next question there are three points p q and r on a straight line such that p q is is to q r is equals to 3 is to 5 if n is the number of possible ways n is the number of possible ways or possible values of p is to q is to uh, that is p q is to p r then what is the n equals to okay so that means you see now most of the students when i was discussing this question with the my, my students okay so they were telling sir the answer will be one okay so let's see what will be the answer here okay you see this is a line okay let us take this as a straight line and let us represent this as p q and r okay p q and r and what he has told me p q is three okay so p q is three units and qr qr is five units okay five units and what he is telling me if if n is the number of possible values of pq okay that is pq pq and pr okay pq and pr okay then what is the value of n so how many possible values are there for this ratio that is what the question is so one thing you see pq so pq is three pq is 3 and pr pr is 8 so 5 plus 3 is 8 this is one way now most of the student don't think in the another way also just see here now i can represent the same ratio in this way also you see i will write q here i will write p here and i will write r here and what he has told me that pq is 3 okay so see here pq this is also 3 only okay this is 3 and 
क्यू आर इज फाइव क्यू आर इज फाइव सी दिस टोटल वैल्यू क्यू आर दिस इज फाइव ओके दिस इज फाइव दैट मीन्स वेन दिस इज फाइव देन वॉट विल बी पी आर यस सो फ्रॉम टोटल इफ यू माइनस थ्री यू आर गोइंग टू गेट टू हियर यस और नो यस सो यू आर गोइंग टू गेट टू सो नाउ सी पी क्यू वॉट इज पी क्यू पी क्यू इज थ्री पी क्यू इज थ्री एंड पी आर सो पी एंड आर दैट सॉरी पी आर दिस इज पी आर सो इट इज टू पी आर सो फ्रॉम हियर पी आर इज टू ओके सो दीज आर द टू मैक्सिमम केसेस दैट वी कैन गेट ओके सो द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज नॉट वन इट इज टू ओके सो देर आर टू पॉसिबिलिटीज फाइन ओके लेट एस मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन यस यूजिंग टू टू थ्री 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 एज अ डिजिट्स हाउ मेनी डिस्टिंक्ट नंबर्स ग्रेटर दैन ओके थर्टी थाउजेंड कैन बी फॉर्म्ड सो हाउ कैन इट बी फॉर्म्ड नाउ यू सी इट इज वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन सी फ्रॉम दिस वन थ्री इज ऑलरेडी बीन यूज हियर एंड ही इज टॉकिंग अबाउट ग्रेटर दैन थ्री ओके सो ग्रेटर दैन थर्टी थाउजेंड दैट मीन्स एट दिस पर्टिक्युलर प्लेस आई शुड हैव थ्री एंड आई हैव नो वैल्यू विच इज ग्रेटर दैन थ्री सो इफ इट हैज टू बी मोर दैन थर्टी थाउजेंड दैन हियर आई शुड हैव फोर फाइव एंड मोर दैन थ्री बट इन द गिवन वैल्यूज आई डोंट हैव एनी नंबर विच इज मोर दैन थ्री ओके सो दैट मीन्स वन पॉसिबिलिटी आई हैव ऑलरेडी यूज हियर सो आई हैव टू यूज द मैक्सिमम नंबर फ्रॉम द गिवन सिक्वेंस फॉर ग्रेटर वैल्यू ओके सो देर आर फोर पॉसिबिलिटीज वन टू थ्री एंड फोर ओके सो हियर देर आर फोर पॉसिबिलिटीज एट दिस पर्टिकुलर प्लेस देर आर थ्री पॉसिबिलिटीज एट दिस पर्टिकुलर प्लेस देर इज टू एंड देर इज वन ओके फाइन सो दैट मीन्स वट विल बी द वैल्यू फोर इन टू थ्री इन टू टू इन टू वन डिवाइडेड बाय नो वाई डिवाइडेड बाय बिकॉज यू सी वी हैव टू थ्रीज हियर ओके एट द प्लेस ऑफ थ्री वी हैव टू पॉसिबिलिटीज एंड वी हैव टू पॉसिबिलिटीज फॉर टू सो टू इन टू टू बिकॉज वी हैव टू टू पॉसिबिलिटीज देर दिस टू एंड दिस टू विल गेट कैंसल टू टू जा थ्री टू जा इज सिक्स एंड द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज सिक्स ओके यस आई थिंक इट वॉज इजी क्वेश्चन लेट एस मूव टू द नेक्स्ट यस कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट द सम ऑफ फाइव कॉन्जिकेटिव इंटीजर्स कैन बी टेन ओके सॉरी इट कैन बी हंड्रेड ओके इट इज हंड्रेड इज इट पॉसिबल यस यू कैन सी एटीन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन एंड ट्वेंटी टू ओके सो इफ यू एड दिस द सम ऑफ फाइव कॉन्जिकेटिव इंटीजर्स कैन बी हंड्रेड डेफिनेटली यू कैन एड ऑल दिस वैल्यू यू आर गोइंग टू गेट हंड्रेड ओके सो फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट ओके द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ थ्री कॉन्जिकेटिव नंबर्स ओके थ्री कॉन्जिकेटिव नेचुरल नंबर्स कैन बी इक्वल टू देयर सम ओके कैन बी इक्वल टू दैट मीन्स वट इज आस्किंग हियर इफ ए इंटू ए प्लस वन इंटू ओके ए प्लस टू ओके इफ ए इज द नंबर देन वट एवर रिजल्ट आई एम गोइंग टू गेट सपोज इफ आई एम गेटिंग एन हियर देन ए प्लस ए प्लस वन प्लस ए प्लस टू ऑल्सो आई शुड गेट एन ओके दिस इज वॉट द क्वेश्चन इज एंड आई थिंक विदाउट एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑल्सो यू ऑल नो द रिजल्ट दैट इज वन इंटू टू इंटू थ्री इज नथिंग बट सिक्स एंड वन प्लस टू प्लस थ्री इज नथिंग बट सिक्स सो सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट ओके सो बोथ वन एंड टू आर द राइट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन ओके फाइन लेट एस मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन यस now i think this uh, similar question was asked in the previous exam also uh, in the previous uh, 2020 also that a cubical vessel of 1 meter is filled completely with water how many milliliters of water is contained and neglecting the thickness okay neglecting the thickness so we know that 1 meter is equals to 1000 and we have to find the volume so it will become cube of this so 1 meter so it will become 1 meter cube so here 1000 into 1000 into 1000 okay but he has told me clearly in the question neglecting thickness so we will neglect one part of this so how many zeros are there six zeros so six zeros will be the answer 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this is the answer for this question yes yes let's move to the next question there are six persons arranged in a row okay another person has to shake hand with the three of them so they have to shake hand with the three of them so that he should not this is very important he should not okay uh, shake his hands with the two consecutive person okay so he has to not shake his hand with the two consecutive persons in how many distinct 
okay possible combinations can be handshaked to this okay uh, so take place so in what ways we can take place now uh, we can solve this problem by normal method also okay so uh, in a funny way i tell that we can solve this question by gauti method also okay so what are the possibilities let us say 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 these are the six persons now what he has told me that this person should not shake hand with this person this person should not shake hand with this person this person should not shake hand with this person that means consecutive way they should not shake the hand okay so in this way how many possibilities are there that is what the question has been asked okay so now see i can take the possibility as one three and five because you see if i consider because he has told me with the three three persons so one three and five now he is he is going to shake hand with him and him that means he is not shaking the hand with two he is not shaking the hand with four he is not shaking the hand with six okay this is one way now second way is two four and six okay and then you see one okay three and i will consider six now I'll consider six okay if i consider five it is already available one three and six even they are not going to shake their hand with the next person okay now one more possibility is one okay four and six one four and six okay so how many possibilities are there this is one possibility this is two three and four so there are only four possibilities and the answer for this question is four possibilities okay fine let us move to the next question yes now an amount of money was distributed among a b and c in a ratio p q and r okay so it is distributed in p q and r okay consider the following statement okay so what he has told me a gets the maximum share okay a gets the maximum share if p okay if p is the p is greater than q plus r that means p is greater than q plus r that means from here from here can i conclude that p is greater than q and p is greater than r definitely i can conclude okay now let us consider the second statement c gets the minimum share he is talking that he is getting minimum share if r is less than r is less than okay p plus q p plus q now you see just try to understand one simple logic here here itself i told you that p is greater than q okay and p is greater than r but now you see from here i am understanding that these values are less okay that means this second statement it not giving me a proper conclusion okay so that means the second statement cannot be right and what will be the answer which of the following above statement is correct that is only one is correct for this answer yes okay let us move to the next question yes jay and vijay spend an equal amount of money to buy some pens and some special pencils of same quality from the same store okay and if jay brought three pens now see one thing in the first line itself they have told me jay and vijay spend equal amount okay so they are spending equal amount that means whatever the amount is spent by jay it is equals to vijay yes okay now what he has told me if jay this person if jay brought three pens okay if he brought three pens and and means plus okay five pencils okay five pencils okay five pencils and vijay brought okay see here vijay brought two pens so he is bringing two pens and seven pencils so he is bringing seven pencils okay he is bringing seven pencils okay then which of the following is correct so which of the following is correct so i think here we have options for this okay so before going to the options let us first solve this part so let us bring pen one side okay so here there are three pens and here there are one pen two pen if i bring it this side it will become one pen and if i take this pencil that side it will become seven minus five it will become two pencils 
okay so this is the relation that i have obtained from here that is the cost of one pen is equals to it is nothing but two pencils okay so let us see the options okay let us see the options so what he has told me the pencil cost more than a pen so i think pencil is not going to cost more okay it is not going to cost more because it is less than the value of pen okay the price of the pencil is equal to that of a pen the price of a pencil is equals to that of a pen so it is not equal okay the price of the pen is two times yes so somewhat related to our the price of the pencil see here the price of the pen the price of the pen is is means equal two times two times the price of the pencil so this is more specific answer here we are having more specific answer the price of the pen is three times no he has not told me he has told me three times but here i am having two times so more specific answer will be c that is the price of the pen is two times because from the equation i am getting this value okay fine yes let us move to the next question okay now what he has told me p scored 40 marks more than q in an examination if q scores 10 percent less than p then how much marks did q score so how much marks q has scored we have to tell so let us start our question from this part itself okay so see 10 percent so 10 percent i have told you 10 percent means 1 by 10 and here the comparison is made between p and q so let us write p here and let us write q here and in the a regular class i have told you so let us make this comparison that q is q scored 10 percent less marks than p see after then whatever value you will be having after this then whatever value you will be having that will be in the denominator now in the denominator i am having 10 that means this 10 is the value of p and what he has told that q has scored 10 percent less marks when it is less you are going to have minus here so 10 minus 1 is 9 okay so now you see now you see now what he has told me now what he has told me p scored 40 marks more than q see i have told you more than less than increment decrease this all represents the difference between greater value and smaller value so greater value is 10 smaller value is 9 and the difference here is one unit and this one unit is equals to how much it is equals to 40 marks okay so now then how much did q score so i have to find the value of q so q has a scored nine units of marks and each unit cost 40 marks so nine fours are 36 that is 360 so 360 is the answer for this question yes 360 is the answer for this question yes